Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Microsoft Store in Windows 11 and we're gonna see what we can do in case the Microsoft Store or even the store apps that we have installed in our system are not working, not launching and so on and so forth in Windows 11, of course. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few methods or a few solutions that you can try in order to fix certain issues that could cause the Microsoft Store app in Windows 11 to not launch or not work properly. First of all, we can run the Microsoft Store troubleshooter so to do that just click on the search box type in here settings or just open up the settings app where it says find a setting in the left side type in here troubleshoot click on troubleshoot settings and then click on other troubleshooters scroll down to the bottom and locate windows store apps click on run in the right side and the windows store apps troubleshooter will start its process of diagnosing the system searching for potential issues or problems that could cause certain windows store apps or the store app to not work properly. You can click on next and of course if the troubleshooter finds any problems it will give you alternative solutions to fixing that certain problem. Don't worry if you get the same message if you have a certain problem that cannot be fixed follow along this video because I'm going to show you a few other solutions that you can try. Next, we're going to open up the settings app again. You can open it using the keyboard combination Windows plus I. In the left side, click on apps, click on apps and features at the top and search here for store. Locate Microsoft Store, click on these three dots in the right side, click on advanced options and here scroll down and then first of all, click on terminate to terminate this app and its related processes. Then click on repair to start the repairing process of the app. And after the process is finished and you see this check mark, click on reset to completely reset the app and its settings, a process that should most likely fix a whole bunch of issues. What you're going to notice is that the Microsoft Store app is no longer in the taskbar after you reset it. So just search for it in your search box and right click on it and then pin to taskbar to have it again on your taskbar as a quick launch icon. If this didn't fix your issue, what you can do next is re-register the Microsoft Store or the Microsoft Store store apps using a PowerShell command. That PowerShell command will be in the article down below in the description. So what you need to do, just click on the search box, type in here power, right click on PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. And then on user account control, click on yes. In PowerShell, you're going to have to run the following command, which is this one. And after that, just press enter. And basically all the Microsoft Store apps and the Microsoft Store included will be re-registered. Basically, it will be reinstalled, reset it. And after running this command, you should definitely restart your system for the changes to take effect and also for a fresh start of those processes. This command should take up a few minutes, so just wait patiently and after the process is finished, you should be good to go. If you receive errors like this, for example, modifiers are currently in use where certain errors don't worry, that means that certain apps couldn't be re-registered because either they are currently in use or they are currently used by the system, so just don't worry, let the command to do its process and after for that, as I've said, you should be good to go. After the command process is finished, all you need to do is to close up Windows PowerShell and then restart your system for the changes to take effect, as I've said. If this didn't help you, another thing that you can try is to create a new user account. Basically, if you create a new user account and then on you set it as administrator on your computer, you will be able to have access to the Microsoft Store as a newly created configuration of the Microsoft Store. So that is also a possible solution for the issue that you're facing. So to do that, just click on the search box, open up the settings icon or Windows plus I on your keyboard. In the left side, click on accounts, click on family and other users, click on add an account on the other users section. Here, click on I don't have this person's sign in information and then click on add a user without a Microsoft account to basically add a local account to this PC. So let's enter here a second account, click on next. We don't even need to give it a password and here just click on it and then click on change account type and from account type select administrator and then click on OK. And after that, make sure to sign out from your current account and sign into that account and see if the Microsoft Store is working there. So I'm hoping that after trying these solutions that I showed you in this video, your Microsoft Store should be up and running. If you receive any other errors or something like that with your Windows 11 operating system, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And I'm going to try to make a video about them if I have a solution or if I find solutions to that problem. If the video is useful to you, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech based. Until next time, have a nice day.